go. Pirates Legend of the Black Buccaneer, eh? Nitro Pepsi, so That's what we're playing tonight. I know, uh, as is so common the case here, I know zero about this game. Zero things. Uh, the case looked kind of cool. I know that. <laughs> but that's that's pretty much it, man. Uh, th this art here in the beginning looks kind of neat. Is that a... Is that a doll? Like one of those uh, voodoo dolls being stabbed by this... This... I I'm assuming that's the Black Buccaneer? I don't really know. I have absolutely zero clues. Let's hop into the options real quick, of course. Got to check for... Um... Subtitles. Sadly, it doesn't look like there are any. Sound effects, music, ambient volume, video mode. 16.9, 4x3, and that's it. Lame. Leave everything else on. Uh, I meant to save settings. Yes. Yes, save the settings. Fuck. Back. Yes, save. Insufficient free space? Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> this is a aftermarket card with a shit ton of space on it. Let me uh, swap my first and second slot cards because, yeah, there are, is definitely enough space left on this card. Is this a Pirates of the Caribbean thing? Yes, I know I spelled that wrong. Uh, no, as far as I'm aware, it's not. I'm I'm fairly certain it's, it's completely independent of Pirates of the Caribbean. Or Caribbean, if you will. There we go. This memory card works. Yeah, some games just don't play nicely with aftermarket cards, man. It's sad, really. I mean, I get it. It's not first party. It might not have the magic gate or whatever they call, the hell they call it, but like... I like having my big 64 A megabit one, you know? Ago in the Caribbean. Okay, I might have lied. <laughs> Maybe it is related. No. <laughs> no, I don't think it actually is related at all, but like... One of these. It just happens to also be in the Car uh, Caribbean. By a supernatural force off the rocky shores of Got a spoopy vibe right island. off the bat. Very true. It does. Victims of I'm assuming it's going to be like some haunted, you know, dead pirate sort of thing. Of but instead had found also, thanks for the subtitles, even though they're not like, yet, it's not an option. I appreciate them being here. Treasure. Fabulous treasure accumulated over years of piracy. A treasure bathed in the blood and tears of the innocent and gathered mercilessly by La Borne. La Borne? La Borne. Her name alone was enough to set brave men trembling. This escaped slave wreaked vengeance on all her erstwhile tormentors and let none escape to tell the tale. Except you can barely hear this bitch. Strange yeah, I mean, I could turn it up a tiny bit, but Was she like not a whole lot, though. Slaves, or were they demons? The Spanish crown could bear no more, and sent the fearsome Don Roberto de la Cruz to hunt down and stab forever Cruz. this devil woman. I mean, I don't think that's what the subtitle said, but okay, sure. <laughs> The voice is quiet, but the music None I can hear, that's weird, this man. Terrible battle. And while the greed of man runs deeper than the black depths of the ocean. Yeah, I guess the, the, the balancing could be a little found. bit better. Between the music and the uh the voices. I can uh maybe turn the music down a little bit once we get in game. Seven Make it a little bit easier to hear the voices. Begin to dream of a mysterious island and a magnificent treasure. There were many who set sail. Their hearts filled with the cursed demon gold. Only to find death in the raging storms and cruel rocks. With only one survivor left to pursue his golden dreams. Is that us? Right there, that dude? Francis Blade. Man Francis Blade, of course it is. Turned rogue in search of a life of ease. 
Look, if you want an easy life, I don't think you become a pirate, dude. Like, <laughs> hey, Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. I appreciate it. Thank you with your little, uh, cheer walls. <laughs> oh, while we're in the loading screen here, let me make sure. Yeah, okay. Looks good. Sometimes that setting, I don't know, like the capture card gets a little mad about that every once in a while. You were able to sub with other account? Oh, were you really? It didn't pop up, so I didn't even know. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. I will gladly take all of the Pritch... Pritch? Huh. Fuck, I'm tired. <laughs> the Twitch Prime subs. Any day of the week. Uh, X is dodge roll. I don't know how I feel about that. Circle is block. Square is attack. Triangle is other attack. That is aim our gun. Okay. How do we... Can we, like, reload it? It looks like it just reloads itself over time. How do we jump? Wait, what? Hold on. So... Oh, if we're, like, standing still, it's jump. If we're moving, it's dodge roll. That's terrible. <laughs> at least it seems smart enough that if you're at a ledge, it automatically jumps for you. Instead of just, like, dodge rolling you off the edge. But I could see that becoming a problem later on. 100%, man. Like, <laughs> like I'm going to, at some point during this run, I'm going to try to jump off a ledge. And, uh... Oh, fuck. YouTube's going to end up sending me more messages again now, aren't they? Anyways, I'm going to try to jump off a ledge, and it's just going to freaking dodge roll to my death, dude. Use your sword by pressing square triangle to get rid of the enemies. Use the pistol by pressing and holding L1 square to shoot. R really? We're fighting the monkeys? Like, aren't there anything better we could be fighting than monkeys? Also, is that a thing? Looks like there's a thing. Monkey? Yes, monkey. The saving altars allows our hero to save his progress in the adventure. I mean, look, we literally just started. Unless there's unskippable cutscenes, I don't think we need to save just yet. Like, <laughs> I'm all for saving the game, man. But, like, come on. Cut me a little bit of slack here. Monkey death to monkeys. You don't like the monkeys? What the monkeys ever do to you, Rue? Uh, I'm hitting circle. The gate prevents you from continuing. No shit. Thank you for that. Uh, that definitely looks like something. I don't, <laughs> I don't know about you, man, but I don't see, like, little portals to hell in the ground every once in a while. Uh, <laughs> YouTube here. We are now offering one session on better help to our creators in need. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, hey, if they want to pay for my therapy, I'm all for it. I'm just saying. But, uh, they weren't offering to pay for my therapy. Just reminding me that I could get some. <laughs> What does that button do? Absolutely nothing, okay. The skeleton statue seems to be protected by some mysterious force. Well, this is all very helpful. Uh, I can't seem to push it. Still no estimated delivery date. Why give me tracking number and no estimated delivery date? That is kind of dumb, ain't it? Okay, we must have to come back to this at some point. Because it just says you are unable to move this at this point. So maybe we're going to unlock super strength or some shit? I don't fucking know. But there must be something else we need to do before we can deal with that. <laughs> Nate, that was great. You like monkeys, but since they're the enemy, death to monkeys? Fair, man. I can't even argue with you there. On a lonely beach, Francis discovers a wrecked ship with a little repair work and the treasure safely stowed on board. This ship will be perfect for his escape or whatever the fuck it said. <laughs> I was reading chat, not the game, man. All right, we got a quest log. Cool, cool. Oh, special attacks. Balestra, Prima Copi, Renewed Attack, Prima Tagella. What is up with these games in these other languages, man? Oh, wait, do we actually play like two different characters? Francis Blade and the Black Buccaneer? That's kind of neat. We got our map. Uh, we got RPG shit. That's nice. Offerings nine. What's that? I can't seem to, like, increase anything or do anything. So, I don't know what the offering nine is. that, like, maybe our number of lives? Huh. So, we need to find rudder, planks, supplies, sail, and compass. Got it. Makes me sad. I want to know when it's coming, even though you might not let me play with it until my birthday. I'll probably let you play with it before then, let's be honest. Why don't you tell everyone what it is, though? 
It's caught at customs, most likely, Rue, if that's the case. Oh, That sucks. Uh, although it was Noodle that ordered it, not Rue. <laughs> Hi, Christian, I made it. Hi! Thank you for being here, man. I appreciate it. A new attack has been unlocked. Square, square, triangle. How fancy. Oh, oh, look at that. We can we can do this spinny thing with our sword now. Isn't that cool? <laughs> the cannon can destroy normal gates and obstructions. Press circle while in rear. Oh, we can actually aim it? Dude, how fucking fancy. Uh, is there any way, like, <laughs> I can shoot at that other gate? I don't think I can hit it from here, though. I don't, I don't think that's possible, like, an option. Yeah, I'm guessing that's not. <laughs> Welcome, new person. Is, the, is there still custom if it's from California? I did just order at, like, 3 a.m. last night. No, uh, there wouldn't be any customs, like, from, like, from the states to the states. There's no sort of customs checks or anything like that. Thank you, friend. I miss Red doing a couple things, but yeah, that has happened to me. It took, like, 20 days in customs. A disturbing aura emanates from the statue, yet there is something intriguing about the amulet. Of course there is. We're a greedy fucking pirate. Anything shiny is intriguing. Uh, so do we just jump down, or are we going to do some, like... I can't remember the fucking name of it, dude. The Sands of Time. Uh, Prince of Persia. We're going to do some Prince of Persia shit. That was... <laughs> That was some fucked up animations there, man. <laughs> You'll have to let me know how uh, Tiny Tina's is, Austin, and, uh, or Big Daddy Pee Wee, sorry. <laughs> uh, and Nate. Jesus, hit the fucking monkey. Game, what are you doing? Kill the monkey, thank you. Nine offerings collected. That's gotta be somehow related to how we level up, right? The, the whole, like, soul things. Offerings, that's what they're calling them. There's, at, like, no chance it's not. Strange inscriptions are engraved on the eerie door. Inscriptions you cannot decipher. Well, that's fucking helpful, ain't it? I thought it was coming in. U.S. it ended up not being. It was a subscription box. Oh. What kind of subscription box? Just curious. If you don't mind sharing. If you don't want to tell, that's that's cool too. <laughs> well, do you think we're both waiting on download? Yeah. Fair, fair. So I do plan on getting Tiny Tina's Wonderland at some point, but uh, there's just so many other things that I want to play. I need to get through, Elden well, and I don't support the Epic Game Store. Uh, although I'm lessening up on it, outside of the fact that I don't want to have another game launcher installed on my computer. Um, but yeah, there's the Elden Ring, obviously, and then I want to play the, the Final Fantasy Dark Souls game, uh, Strangers of Paradise, can remember the name of it there for a moment. I want to play that at some point. Uh, Monkey! How do we get, is there like a way we can get more health? Because we're actually taking some fucking hits here, dude. And I'm assuming we still can't push this. You are too weak to move the obstacle yet. So, um, you know what? I bet you it's a Black Buccaneer thing. Right? Like, once we unlock the Black Buccaneer, I bet you he's the one that's going to have to push that shit around. Yours are an eyeshadow collection. I'm honestly surprised it shipped already. Take a powerful explosion to destroy this cracked wall. Okay. Parkour it is, man. Sounds like... Wait. As soon as it's done downloading, I'm going to try it out. I'm excited for it. Yeah, I mean, it looks really good. It's freaking uh, Borderlands mixed with D&D. &D. Like, what's not to love there, you know? Uh, okay, I'm assuming we don't want to just run through the fire. I mean, we can. <laughs> that is an option, I suppose. Oh, there we go. That should make it, like, a tiny bit easier. Uh, <laughs> and then I jump directly into the fucking fire. <laughs> Good job, me. Good job, me. An anime one you thought you'd try out? What kind of a uh, anime box, man? You don't remember the name of it, or? 
I'm just being curious over here. Can we climb up that wall? Like, look, it looks like it has little ridges that we can, like... Oh, there's fall damage, apparently. <laughs> Oops. But yeah, it looks like it has little ridges on the wall that we would be able to... Yeah, we can't jump that far, though, can we? I was trying to do some, like, proper Assassin's Creed shit, and I don't think it wants us to do that. The game feels a little, I don't know, just off, you know? Like, something about it just feels weird. And I realize it's a PS2 game, but it looks a little off from what I was expecting, too. Like, I was expecting the whole dark tone and all that BS. What was that backflip we just did off there? All right. Grows fancy. But yeah, I guess I was just expecting it a little higher fidelity. But it's aight. We don't play games for the looks anyways. If we did, we wouldn't be playing a fucking PS2, you know? Looks more PS3, you think? See, I don't know, man. It looks like... Maybe... Maybe I, maybe that's it. Maybe it's, like, too detailed, but still very pixely and whatnot because it's on PS2. I don't know. It was a general one. Changes monthly. Oh, okay, okay. Wasn't Tiny Tina the name of the rug, the doll in the Rugrats episode we just watched? And maybe. I have no idea. I don't remember. I love how it says we can't resist the call of the amulet or whatever, but then we can just walk away. Like, <laughs> actually, we kind of can, dude. We could just turn off the game right now and never pick the amulet up. That is a legitimate option that we have. Oh, uh, that's also something we were going to do, weren't we? We were going to turn down sound effects, music. I mean, I guess just turn down everything and maybe that'll make the voices a little bit better. Not that there's really any talking right now anyways, but still. There's some chanting. <laughs> I don't I don't think the chanting counts as, as talking though. When the Loa energy is at its maximum, press L3 plus R3 to transform Francis into the Black Buccaneer. Okay, so there we go. We can go God mode, man. Drawn by its strange light. Francis picked up the amulet. In his mind, he heard deep murmurings speaking of a pact of great power and treasure. Slowly, he raised the amulet over his head. He couldn't resist. It was talking to him. It was drawing him in, pulling him in, man. He had to do it. He had no choice, obviously. Well, hi there. When the uh, leave of absence, uh, <laughs> when the LOA energy is, yeah, yeah, Black Buccaneer is very powerful in combat. It consumes energy when fighting. Parry enemies by progressing circle. If the gauge is fully depleted, the Buccaneer becomes Francis again. Makes sense, bro. Okay, looking fucking beast here. You're right, you're right though. And I'm assuming we'll also be able to use him to like push stuff around and whatnot. Do all the stuff that we couldn't do before. Uh, should probably be careful. There might still be fall damage. Maybe. It looks like right now our, our energy is unlimited. I'm guessing while like this whole intro thing's going on. Uh, told it. Told it. Called it. <laughs> I knew I was going to end up dodge rolling off a fucking platform at some point, man. No, don't freaking do it. Don't do it. Thank you. Oh, God, dude. I think the biggest problem I have with the game right now, honestly, is the stupid dodge roll thing. Like, having dodge roll and jumpy on the same button sounds like the worst decision, man. Oh, is there no way for us to go back? Actually, his jump feels lower, doesn't it? Than the other one. Maybe we can, uh, maybe we can go the other way and get down. Go back around that way or something. Oh, he's dead. Uh, <laughs> Francis has died, but Loa Papa Legba. <laughs> I'm sorry, whatever language that is, I'm sorry for butchering it. Butchering it. Um, can bring him back in life to life in exchange for five offerings we can pay. I mean, yeah. Obviously. Okay, but like, how do we get down? You doof. You have no idea how bad the controls are. <laughs> it's it's not the worst I've ever felt. To be fair, but like, 
the whole dodge roll thing being on the same button is really bad. Like, that was a terrible decision, whoever the hell made this game. And then to top it off, like, the whole thing just, like I said, it just feels weird. I feel like we should be able to, yeah. Oh, he goes like a gargoyle standing on top of it. Okay, not what I expected. So he can parkour. But I don't see anywhere else to go after that, so. Uh, we can go down from here, right? That's what we did last time, yeah. I imagine we're going to use him to, like, move shit around. Okay, you can't, you can't do shit there. What is that? Is that a giant, is that a sword or an axe? Is it a giant fish hook? I'm confused. <laughs> what the hell is that? Is it a... I guess it's some sort of fucked up sword, huh? Oh, yeah. We can block. That helps. That's weird looking, dude. Okay. Well, we got a fucking meat cleaver or whatever the hell it is now. I think it's a sword. It's hard to tell. Very hard to tell. Uh, I've Honestly, I've already forgotten which way we were going. You died in literally the first 10 minutes of gameplay. Yeah, I mean, that happens sometimes. Can you read the strange and script? No, you cannot. Okay. <laughs> Told you, English gets hard when I'm tired and I am extra tired today. All right, let's get back up, up here. Came from that way, I'm fairly certain. No, you bastard. Do like a big jump. Big jump, not little jump, not a dodge roll. Big jump. Good job. Good scary monster, bro. So where did his, like, what's his story, you know? We were the sole survivor on whatever thing, but what did he do? I'm too weak to move the obstacle? What do you mean? How is the black buccaneer too weak? Look at this dude. Look at his muscles. Take a powerful explosion. To clear this wall. Huh. Okay. Well, I guess there isn't anything else we can really do here right now. If we could jump a little bit higher, we might be able to get up there to that chest. But I don't think we can jump up there right now. There was this strange black hallway over here. It still seems like there's nothing we can do here, though. Another survivor tortured by the lady? Maybe. I have no idea. Honestly, I, I thought as soon as we unlocked him, we would be able to start moving all of these platforms and stuff around. N now that we can't, I don't really know what to do. I guess we could leave. Do we need to just, like, go back into regular mode here? Huh. Try pushing it the other way towards the ridges on the wall. Yeah, well, no, the thing is, uh, here, I'll go back over there. Like, that's a good idea, but it actually tells you that you're too weak to move the obstacle if you inspect it. So, like, it's not just that I was trying to move it and couldn't move it. It's that it's actually telling us we can't move it. Maybe non-hide can read that thing? I tried that too, man. Yeah, see, you are too weak to move the obstacle. And I'm assuming it's going to push this way because of the uh, the things on the ground. Also, the non-hide reference. I like that. Does look very uh, Jekyll and Hyde like, eh? Now I just got to remember where the hell that door was. Yeah, right there. Okay. Uh, jump. No, fucking dude. Can you make that jump up there, please? Holy fuck, dude. Okay. <laughs> I hope you like dodge rolls, because we're going to be dodge rolling all over the damn place. No, oh, Jesus fuck, dude. Look. I don't know if it's any better with this guy, but I feel like the movement's a little bit better with uh, with Francis here. I think his name's Francis. <laughs> yeah, strange inscriptions you cannot decipher. Same thing. Same thing. Uh, I said the only thing I can think to do at this point is to go back to uh, the beginning. Like leave this whole temple area here. 
Wait, what is the... Okay, that's the exit. That's that's literally the way I was just talking about going. Welcome at Chocobo Enthusiast. I didn't welcome because I'm 99% sure I know who that is. <laughs> but welcome. Welcome, sir. I'm purely guessing off of the name. Uh, but yeah. Okay, well, there's a bunch of monkeys now. We can fight them, I guess. When the hero is close to a zombie spot, press R1 to summon a zombie. It fights for him, but slowly consumes his life. Uh... What is- what is that? What are we doing? <laughs> I don't know what that animation is trying to portray. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Are we just fucking having an orgasm here or something? I'm confused. Uh, well, anyways. Francis. Okay, no, that's gotta be like we're trying to summon a zombie, right? That's gotta be the motion, because that's the button to do it. But I assume this was a zombie spot. But unless the game's fucking broken, the zombie spot doesn't do shit. <laughs> Maybe it only does something whenever somebody's actually around to fight. I guess that I guess that might make sense. Death to the monkeys must be one hell of an orgasm. I mean, hey, sometimes it be like that. Eight offerings? You have to pay to save? Holy fuck, dude. I ain't paying to save. <laughs> I can just pay five to be revived. Like The obstacles... Oh, wait, what? Suddenly, I'm strong enough to move the shit? Oh, we don't have enough energy to, to turn into a Black Buccaneer again? <laughs> I mean, that special move would have been a lot cooler if it would have, like, done anything, you know? Like, it went into this slow mode, played this uh, animation that is trying to be all cool and shit, and then it didn't even do anything. The monkey just kind of laughed at us. We don't support free-to-plays here? I'm confused. What the hell? <laughs> Gold saucer theme. <laughs> oh, which actually, thank for remind. Thank you for reminding me. I don't think you were trying to remind me, but I need to uh, go follow 4A Productions on on here on Twitch. Cause I follow them on YouTube. But oh, how do those spikes not hurt? <laughs> those spikes like just impaled me. But this dude cares not. Fall from a little too high up. Nope, no can do. Literally be impaled by spikes? Ah, no problem, man. It's fine. Perfectly fine. Free to play suck. Oh, you just mean like in general. Okay. I thought there was like something specific you were talking about. But I agree. Most free to play games do suck. In the shadow of the forest, unknown hands have raised an altar. Uh, this thing does things, apparently. Uh, big monkey. Uh, let's try the, 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 the dude. There we go. We got a zombie bro now. So he fights for us, but he consumes our life very slowly. Oh, and he keeps consuming our life as long as he's alive? Can I de-summon him? I can. Every time we do damage to something, we gain health back, though, too. So we have, like, a vampiric blade. I wonder if that's true for Francis as well as this guy. Whatever the hell you want to call him. I guess we can't push it that way, or can only Francis push it? Nope. Uh, it just doesn't work. Okay. Can I shoot it, maybe? I can, but it does absolutely nothing. Okay, surely there's got to be something here to shoot, right? Why else would it have a fucking cannon here? We just call him Buck. Who, Francis or or uh, Buccaneer? Probably the Buccaneer, huh? After I said that out loud, it kind of became obvious that you're, you're probably talking about the dude whose name starts with Buck. All right, well... There's only, you know, 20 different directions to go. One of them had to be right. Hi, big gorilla dude. Who the hell's throwing rocks at me, man? Did your mom ever teach you not to throw rocks? Dude, that, like, 
<laughs> you would think whenever that sort of animation plays out, that it would be like a death cam or something like that, right? Like the, the killing blow. But no, it just fucking... <laughs> it doesn't do shit. I mean, I guess it technically probably does some damage, but not enough. Okay, so it did something, but uh, I don't know what it actually did. Stop looking at the dude. Hit the button. That did nothing. Um, okay, so we probably need to press all the buttons at once, right? That would make sense. Uh, can I, like, climb up this, maybe? No, I guess the spikes are preventing me from climbing it. Hi, uh, other monkey that disappeared very quickly. Okay, I can't push it that way. Can I push it the other way? Excuse me, plants? I'm trying to see here. Okay, well, in that case, then... Probably put it there. I'm gonna fuck up this puzzle somehow. I already know it. Alright, it looks like this one here needs to go forward one more time. Damn it, did we just kill Harambe? Not Harambe! Now we're gonna have another COVID. A whole nother pandemic. And then... That way. Look at us. Puzzling good. And then over... And then, like that, maybe? Now, hold on, though, because whenever that one gets pushed down, it's going to be right there. Oh, yeah, no, that's fine. We can just push it up and then run around and get it. We got it. Damn it, Stream, how could you? It's not my fault. I didn't mean it. Harambe was trying to murder me. And then over and... Okay, it looks like it raised some platforms or something. Hopefully, it doesn't make us watch that every time. Good, it didn't. All right. Uh, so, can I do anything with these platforms right now? Yes, from over there. I still don't know what this is. No! Fuck! <laughs> okay. Well, uh, now, now we know what that does. <laughs> Those random buttons that are laid around are reset buttons. So if we fuck up the puzzle, we can we can start over again. It's 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 fine, guys. It's a learning experience, okay? Now we know, and we hopefully won't make that mistake again. Hopefully. We probably will. Let's be honest. And over. And up. And last guy. Just please don't make us watch the animation again of the fucking platforms going up. Like, I understand. Can I push it that way? No. Damn, Noodle sounds like she just slammed the door shut downstairs. Now our bathroom door sticks a little bit. But, like, anytime you go in or out of it, if you're not very careful with it, it sounds like you're fucking angry as hell. Like, just slamming shit. Big jump, bro. Big jump. Not little jumps. I need you to work with me here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. fucking guy, let me tell you. Oh, fuck! We just did this jump a moment ago. You know how to do it, I promise you. You have to, like, run off the platform if you want to do a big jump. You can't just jump like you would in a normal game. Like, holding the X button longer doesn't actually make you jump higher. So you have to be, like, running off the platform so the game knows where you're trying to jump to. Honestly, it seems like a harder way to make a game. <laughs> Having it work like this. Like, why wouldn't you just have a dedicated jump, a normal jump? Alright, is this a piece for our ship, maybe? No, it's another new attack. Square, square, square. So we've made exactly zero progress. On... Okay, well... There's apparently a monkey here somewhere now. Yep. Oh, God. Oh, stop it! At least these ones are easy to kill. The the white ones, not the, not the big gorilla bros. Expect to see a lot of that one combo. Because it's the easiest one to do. It's just square, square, square. <laughs> I think we came from that way, right? So let's go over here, maybe? Alright, there's a, another chesty chest. Push that down now. I don't know what that does for us. 
Were we not able to get up here before? No, that's the exit. Huh. I guess it's just a quicker way to get back over there. All right. Well. Oh, hi. How are you? Uh, I'm going to kill you now. I'm sorry. Bro, you know what I just remembered? Speaking of, like, this game here, making you pay with souls or whatever the fuck you want to call them, offerings to save. What game was it? was, like, Metal Gear Survive or some shit like that, where one of the DLC was literally extra sl save slots. Like, that's fucking ridiculous, man. You know? These thorny plants are blocking the passage. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to fucking cut them down. Like, I know that's a thing in some MMOs, right? You can you can unlock extra character slots if you pay real money or whatever. <clears throat> and in an MMO, I don't know why, but it doesn't really make me mad. But for, like, a normal game, like a single-player experience, being forced to pay more money just to have extra save slots, that's fucking ridiculous, man. That's definitely taking a step too far. So, can, like, you do anything about this? With your giant fucking meat cleaver of a sword? No? Okay. Uh, I guess that's not the way to go, then. Unless... Can we, like, shoot it? I don't know why this would do anything, but... Maybe? No. Doesn't look like it. Son of a bitch! Can and go boom. Wait, seriously? Yeah, dude. It's fucking stupid, ain't it? I feel like that game had other really dumb paid DLC too, but I don't remember what the other ones were. Also, I don't like the effect it adds on to the screen whenever we uh, are in that mode, so... I'm gonna use good old Francis here. Uh, oh. It was on a timer. I should have known that. The last one was on a timer too. Okay. We got this. We're platforming good. Can we transition? We can. Excellent. Now, please just don't fuck up any of the jumps. Uh. Okay, we might be at a bit of a standstill here. Hold on. Can we, like, grab onto that? We can. I don't know if it was supposed to work or not, but it did. What does this do? This is that altar that I was telling us about, huh? This altar lets you call a dude for help. You must first assemble the three required ingredients, then present the offerings demanded in return for his help. He can increase your hero's characteristics. Wait, so that's how we level up? We need a master leaf, a Jezebel root, and a white herb. Weird, okay. Is that what we're doing here then? Trying to find those things? Um. Alright, anything else we can do here maybe? I don't think we've been down here, or is this the way we came in? 55% on Tiny Tina? Dope. I hope you like it, man. So I've heard good things about it so far from our mutual friend that's been talking about it nonstop. But, uh, I mean, not really. <laughs> He's brought it up a couple times. He hasn't been talking about it nonstop. He's very good at not giving out spoilers. Alright, so if there was nothing we could do there, there was that other exit-looking place, though. Right? Over here somewhere? So maybe we should try going over there. Also, we just got stuck. <laughs> got fucking stuck in the geometry, man. G fucking G. Yeah, so this looks like an exit, too. Where does this take us? What the fuck is Tiny Tina? It's a character from Borderlands, and uh, she's kind of insane, but that means they can do fun things with it. Like, basically make cross D&D &D and, and uh, Borderlands together. Yours is done, Big Daddy Pee-wee. <laughs> Let us all know how it goes, man. Said I'll probably play it in a year or two. <laughs> Probably, maybe. After, you know, Elden Ring and uh, Strangers of Paradise and Final Fantasy VIII and uh, all the other fucking games that I've been playing. I still really need to beat the God of War remake, too. Like, I really need to beat that one, man. 
And the Final Fantasy VII remake, I need to just play the last mission and get it over with. Like, I didn't beat it originally because I just didn't want the game to end, but that was like, fuck, I don't know, a year, year and a half ago, whenever the game came out. So at this point, I think I think it's time, you know? <laughs> I think it's time to just beat the game and call it a day. Oh, there's only one direction it seems like we can push this box, so uh, let's let's push it there, man. It's not really even a puzzle whenever, you know, you can only do one thing with it. I don't know why even make us do it. Just have it free push. All right, another cannon. We can't aim to the left. We can aim over here, though. Can we blow up that shit? We can. Thank you. But not that. I'm pretty sure a cannon would destroy the fuck out of a box like that, though. Like, legit, I don't think it would stand any kind of chance. No, fuck. Circle to push. Circle. Oh, the one who says I don't either, but for you I'd make an exception. Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, that may have been dumb. Because if I fall, how am I going to get back up there now? Unless maybe we can use the cannon to knock down that pillar so we have another way up there. Maybe. Or, hear me out now, we just don't fall. Although it already looks... Okay, nope. We can defy all laws of physics and jump sideways. And then we can just jump to our death. That works too. That's... <laughs> yeah, okay, so we can't... I don't think we can jump over here anymore. Oh, uh, we can crawl around though like a fucking uh, parkour master, bro. That works. And try not to fuck up the jump, please. Bro, what did I just tell you? <laughs> I said don't fuck up the jump, man. Not jump to your death again. And you know what? Let's try that other theory that I had. I don't think it's actually going to work. But it would be neat if it did. Can we blow that up? So we maybe have a quicker way up there? No, that would, that would be too nice. Alright, fine. Oh, I guess we can do it that way, too. Either way. Might be a little bit quicker than shimmying our way around. I just don't understand why they even laid the level out like this with all these weird crooked-ass jumps. Like, they had options. They could have laid the, the, the level out any way they wanted to. They didn't have to do it that way. So we got the, the Master Leaf, or whatever the hell it's called. Uh, that looks like a save spot. I'm just trying to use the high ground to get a little bit of a feel for the place. Can I go over there? Oh, okay. It doesn't appear like it. Because I can't seem to climb that wall even though it looks like we should. Oh, hi! Hi, guys! Um, I would love to attack you or something, but I can't fucking move! All right, they're dead. Thank goodness. Can I break this shit? No, can't break anything. We're kind of useless, TBH. Uh, that looks like somewhere we could go. Oh, here we go. This is kind of pretty. It's a nice little view. It's weird how the water just changes colors a little ways out there, but it's fine. Like, if you look in the top right, you can see their health. Half the time, whenever that animation plays out, it literally does no damage at all. Like, <laughs> it's kind of fucking dumb. Do you think we can swim? My bet's gonna be on no. I'm not even gonna try. Unless we run out of all other options. I feel like as soon as we hit that water, we're dead. You know what this game's reminding me of a little bit for some reason? And I have, like, no legitimate reason for this at all. But it's reminding me a tiny bit of uh, medieval, medieval, however the hell you want to pronounce it, on the PS1. Um, also, Kratos-looking bro there is about to murder us. 
Yeah, very, very cool. Uh, thanks for the slow-mo animation there. It was kind of pointless, though. I, I guess it's just, like, the skeletons, and, again, something about the aesthetic looks older than it is to me. Although, I guess that's not everybody, because Rue, didn't you say you thought it looked kind of PS3-ish? <laughs> Uh, where... What are we trying to do here? There's a cannon up there. I guess maybe we're trying to go there. The cannon can break that, which will let us jump over there. Nope. It will not break that. Okay. Can it, like, break the rope? Nope. This is the world's worst fucking cannon. What? What is the point of the cannon, man? I can't see anything. Oh, I mean, can it shoot through that gate? Maybe it can just shoot through that gate. No. No, it cannot. Well, that's fucking garbage. Okay. Um. I don't think I can just jump that far. So I'd have to jump on this. And I can't. Cool. Maybe we could have shot this gate? We'll try one more time. Maybe we can shoot that gate. This door prevents you from continuing. This gate prevents you from continuing. Everything in this game prevents you from continuing. Yeah, I got it. Thanks. Yeah, you did. I don't know. See, to you it looks a little bit newer. To me it looks older. I don't... I don't get it. I try... Oh, no. We can't shoot the gate because that thing's in the way. So even if we can aim over there. Yeah, I guess we could aim over there if this wasn't there. So is there some way to knock that down, maybe? I mean, we can't, like... Sh shooting it does nothing. I can't seem to, to swing my sword at it from here. It's a little too far away for that. Huh. I'm waiting for it to just fall on my fucking head, to be honest. Okay, well, I see nothing to do there. Oh, hi, more skeleton bros. Well, I guess they're not really skeletons, though, are they? They're, they're kind of pale. They're a little grayish, but they're not quite skeletons. They still got a little bit of flesh left on the bone. They're just, uh, they're just a little cursed, that's all. Yeah, okay, so nothing we can do here. If we were back up there, we might be able to jump over to that, which I think is a save altar plus maybe the next area. Um, also, we could try to use the cannon to shoot that, maybe. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to make that shot, though. Can we just make this shot? Oh, wait, there's some vines on the wall there. Can we just jump or climb up that, maybe? It would make our lives a lot fucking easier if we could. I'm trying to shoot. I'm holding L1. I was, <laughs> I was wanting to try the shooting mechanics a little bit, but uh, that was a no-go. All right, vines on wall mean we can climb. That's good to know, actually. Yeah, fuck it. Pay, pay, pay the toll. Save the princess. Whatever the 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 saying thing is. So are the offerings used for anything else? I thought we were going to have to use the offerings for the leveling up. But if we have to collect things to burn at an altar or whatever, then what the hell are these uh, actually for? Other than reviving us and saving. Francis finds himself in front of an enormous door. Could it be the treasure door? Maybe. We don't even know how the fuck to get the boat up and running yet, though, so... Getting the treasure seems a little a little pointless. Unless the treasure is a sail and some wood or whatever the hell it was that we needed for the boat. I'll be honest, I don't really remember at this point. Can we maybe... Okay. Shoot. 
Oh my god, it takes forever to reload this thing. Can they not come over here? Is there an invisible wall stopping them from coming over here? <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> That's so fucking dumb. Holy shit. They, d they didn't stand a chance. They literally couldn't walk over here. Well, figured out a way to cheese that. Same with this guy, bet. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, hey. <laughs> as long as you can walk more than a couple feet away from where somebody spawns, you're perfectly safe. No worries, man. Can't even get close to us. <laughs> That's so fucking bad. Oh, Lord. There's another altar hidden at the foot of the volcano. We didn't even find all the shit for the last altar. I mean, I guess we found a lot of it. We just didn't figure out how... Or, no. Well, I mean, we might have found a lot of it. We don't really know what was in the other chests that we found. Because we couldn't figure out a way to unlock them. Uh, there's a pit of lava down there. I'd rather not jump over it. Giving our track record. But I guess we have no choice. I mean, there's no way we're going to be able to just open it, right? Remains closed despite your best efforts. Yeah, we're going to have to find... I think it said some sort of mechanism. Probably just a fucking lever somewhere or something stupid. Um, okay. And then we can push you down, I guess. It's probably just a quicker way back up later. Nope, never mind. It won't go over the edge. It was just blocking our path. We just had to remember that you can push things. That's, that's all they wanted to remind us, I suppose. <laughs> the sound of all these monkeys over top of each other is a little fucking ear grating. Also, that was an obvious fucking trap. I should have saw that one. My headphones are dying, and I might just let them die. Like, <laughs> so I don't have to hear these fucking monkeys making noise in the background again. How many of them are there? Oh my lord, I don't know. It just stopped. It just fucking stopped. <laughs> like, I didn't even do anything. All I did was jump down here and it stopped. Oh, never mind, it's back. Spoke too soon. <laughs> what the hell, dude? This game is jank as hell. Alright. Uh... So what, we just had to find the right door to unblock? That's boring. I'm not going to fucking do that. Hold on. Nope, nope. Okay. Oh, my lord. This one can actually walk, guys. He's not confined to his little tiny hole. I'm so proud of him. Oh, my lord. Is it the one that we didn't press? Is that the one that we needed to move? I bet you that's the fucking one. And it's the one we can't move because I decided to push this one that way. Hi, big gorilla bro. You're really not much of a threat, are you? I mean, even if you became one, I could just step out this door and for some reason you wouldn't be able to figure out how to walk through it. Does that also reset the enemies? No, it doesn't look like it. Thank goodness. I don't know if that was meant to be a puzzle, but it was literally just push everything to the left. Kind of fucking simple, really. What do we get, man? Swashbuckling attack. Not even... <laughs> I just want something to help us progress through the game, man. I just want a sail or some scrap wood or I don't really remember the fucking... The stuff that we were supposed to be collecting. Maybe some of the stuff for the, for the altar? That'd be nice, too. You know? Anything to actually help us progress in the game, not just unlocking more attacks that aren't going to do shit for me. Oh, hi, you're still here. Did you respawn or did I never kill you before? I honestly don't remember. Regardless, though, it has been about an hour, which means that we need to take a quick ad break. Just be like uh, two, maybe three minutes, guys. Holy shit, he figured out how to walk through the door. Uh, anyways, while we uh, run the ad break, that way nobody misses anything, as well as so I can, you know... Stand up, stretch, get a drink, do whatever. Uh, Y'all can use the bathroom, all that fun stuff. We'll be right back, guys.
I mean, okay, who did Joshua succeed as the leader and prophet in Israel? Bro, I'll be honest, like, I don't remember any of this shit. Uh, Moses. The answer we are looking for is... It's definitely Billy Bob. Bro, look at that. Look at that. Not Satan knows everything. The vanilla's really good. I only took one sip of it because, like, I uh, don't drink sugar, really, but I wanted to try it. Oh, and you get more points if you answer faster. That makes sense. What you do? Pass control or take another chance? Just keep playing. Why? Why? Inspiring result. Somebody still needs to tell me, like, why you would ever stop. trivia. Let's see what everyone knows about the old testament. You guys okay. ruined it already. I have to go make some salsa for the chips we got. You're gonna make some salsa? That's pretty dope, dude. I haven't had homemade salsa in a long ass time. Uh, what did Moses throw when he saw the golden calf? Uh, the Israelite, the tablets of stone, a spear, his wallet, a rock. I don't know. The tablets of stone. Probably not. The switch has trivia pursuit. That's pretty dope. You know, I've never actually played trivia pursuit. I've seen it, but I've never played it. Great job. Hey, not Satan got 300 points because everybody else is stupid. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, no, if I'll try it. I was just curious what flavor it was, Noodle. You literally just use Rotel and garlic salt. It's nothing fancy, but I love it. I don't blame you. Like, that sounds pretty good. My grandpa, before he, uh, like, couldn't really do stuff anymore, used to make salsa, homemade salsa all the time. Loved that shit, dude. Absolutely loved it. Jump from rock to rock to collect the mana. Hold down the X button and use the left analog stick to position your cursor. Then release the X button to jump to where the cursor is. Okay. So we're just Let going from rock to rock. Be light. Hold down the X button. Oh, jeez, man. Uh. Oh, shit. But we need to collect mana. Hold on. Oh, you can't, like, jump as far when you're in the... Why can't I? Why can't I? Just let me out. No, let me out of the sand. Bro, this game is trash. Wait, why did I jump so far that time? Bro. Give me, give me the mana. At this point, I feel like it would be better off just kind of staying in the same spot. Oh, give me that, like, bright-ass blue mana. What? They cheated. Can you walk? You can. You can just straight up walk around. Bruh. These dudes be cheating. I don't care what anyone says. This game's fucking rigged. Purple. I mean, I guess this is good, like, nice analogy job. or whatever. Not Purple. Satan probably shouldn't win a Bible game. Yeah, it's not bad. Hello! We're back. For this beautiful game that is a uh, Legend of the Black Buccaneer. I still have no idea where we're going or what we're doing. But, uh, hey, that's all right. You know, we can push things around again. So if we, or not again, finally. So if we can't figure out anything else to do here, we could try to go back to that area from the beginning, right? Like, that's an option. That little, uh, temple thing where we first got the amulet. Because maybe we'll be able to push around those things now. This game kind of sucks so far. Lack of, lack of objective is serious. Yeah, like when I saw the quest marker, I was a little bit hopeful that, you know, it'd be pretty decent. But, like, it, it's given us these quote-unquote quests, objectives, whatever. But it's not really helping us complete them at all. Also, like, what's the point of that? Having that thing on the wall right there that we can grab. We can't do anything with it, so why put it there? Uh, the door's blocking our path, I'm assuming. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. We can try and see if we can shoot that section of the wall with this cannon. I don't think it'll aim that far over. Yeah, no, it won't aim any far over than that. Any farther over than that. So that's a no-go. At some point, we must unlock, like, the ability to blow stuff up. So there's been a couple different... Uh... couple different walls that we found that say shit about being able to blow stuff up and we just can't oh okay yeah it looks like that might be one of our voodoo powers that we unlock at some point 
is the ability to blow up walls. I'm a, I mean, that it's a bomb, right? That definitely looks like a bomb, so I'm assuming that's what that is. So we need compass, sail, supplies, planks, and rudder. Yeah, we need all that shit. We haven't found anything yet. <laughs> kind of useless we are, man. Book to read the story of... Continue the adventure to hear the rest of the story. Okay. All right, let's, uh, I don't know, I guess let's go back through here. Just keep going backwards until we find something new to do. Because, like, the thing is, we haven't unlocked any extra abilities yet, right? So, other than maybe pushing some of those things out of the way in that first area of the game, the first temple, um, I don't think it'll be helpful going anywhere else that we've been before because right now we can't do anything that we couldn't already do last time we explored it did we go up here i don't think we actually went up here at all the layout of these levels is kind of confusing too that's not helping very much oh something maybe Creature's cry draws your attention, and then you see the girl. Will you help her? I obviously. I don't think there's any point in not helping her. Like, <laughs> not helping her isn't gonna help us at all. Good, good job missing there, bro. Why aren't you swinging sword? What was that? <laughs> that, that was new. Holy shit. Uh, also, we need to go Super Saiyan real quick. Uh, no, why did you stop? <laughs> go Super Saiyan. Because it seems like he's the only one that collects health whenever he hits things. Even when he's hitting things through the wall. <laughs> I'm sorry, when did a girl get there? And is she a hot pirate, babe? Uh, you tell me. I didn't actually get that good of a look at her. She's a pirate, I think. Uh, she looks very pixely. So if you're into pixels, then... Let me tell you, I think you're in for a hell of a time. <laughs> Seriously? I can't, I can't jump through that uh, game? <laughs> I hate to tell you, but that tiny little, uh, that tiny little half broken section of wall, I don't think is going to stop this giant creature from, from climbing over it. This dude can literally do parkour. But you're telling me he can't he can't go over that little that little section of wall there? Oh no, we had a we had to walk around this little circle to get there instead. I mean I am a Temi, so we attach to fictional characters way faster. Fair. Fair. Uh Okay. So if we can go up here, I'm assuming that means we can go somewhere else now too. Oh, well, that was easy enough. I didn't even realize this is where she was. There you go. There's there's your your look at her backside, at least. <laughs> the meeting. Francis was not the only one searching the island. Vanilla had come looking for her father, Roberto de la Cruz, who had disappeared in pursuit of La Bourne. She now headed to the fort. How is your dad's name Roberto uh, de la Cruz and yours is Vanilla? <laughs> also, that was a short ass cutscene. I was expecting a little more in that, not gonna lie. Vanilla has gone in. Uh, excuse me. Vanilla has gone in search of a clue to the Spanish fort in the western part of the island. Isn't that where we just came from? I'm assuming it was a fort area. And find Vanilla Father, Vanilla's father's tomb. Question mark. Yes, hot pirate babe. <laughs> Wait, so can we switch to her? Right, cause she, like she has her own objectives. Is she traveling with us now, or like, huh? I don't know. Oh my lord. Why are all these monkeys making sounds on top of each other? It's weird how they just like randomly stop too, you know? Like they're all just making sound and then dead quiet. 
you. If you're gonna make noise, then make the fucking noise. <laughs> or better yet, just don't make any noise. <laughs> no, being completely silent would probably be worse, actually. But like, holy shit, dude. Uh. Okay, I don't think we've gone this way yet. Also, I just fell right in that fucking hole. Good job, me. I don't know if this is the way we want to go or not, but damn it, it's the way we're going. Go, go Super Saiyan, please. Oh, stop with the slow-mo. It doesn't do anything. I'm sure this was during the time when everything had to have slow-mo in it. Slow-mo was the cool thing. And every game had to have its slow-mo moments, or was it really even a game, you know? Nothing there. Not even a secret. Go through loading zone. Yay. <laughs> yeah, this game kind of sucks, bro. I'm not going to lie. It's not the worst game I've ever played. I think that uh, the title for that is still South Park on the PS1. But it's not fucking great. You can do it. Oh, I'm not worried about whether I'm able to do it or not. So far, the game's been relatively easy. It's just kind of boring. <laughs> It's a neat idea for a game, just a uh, bad execution, you know? Wait, aren't we out of energy? How are we still Buccaneer, bro? That was weird. Did, does it wait until you're out of combat, or did we just have a, like an invisible little slither of energy keeping uh, Buck going? Okay, well, the camera seems to be trying to point me towards that mysterious glowing red mist, which seems fair, honestly, you know? Whenever you see a, a mysterious glowing mist of any color, it's usually uh, the general direction you want to go in these games. Uh, I feel like, honestly, you could probably make that jump if you really wanted to. Uh, hold on, hold on. Like, there's this thing to push right here. Can I actually push it? I don't see anything on the ground. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can push it to there, which will let me go. Okay, okay. Another puzzle, guys. We got this. Surely there's going to be something amazing at the other side of this puzzle, right? It's going to blow our fucking minds, man. It's going to make us change our entire outlook on this game. It definitely won't be as simple as just push two boxes over one spot next to each other. <laughs> Why did they give you all this extra room to do it? Oh, there's another one up here. Oh, shit, guys. That changes everything. <laughs> Mr. Noodle is cheered five bits. Thank you, Noodle. I appreciate you. You are the best, love. Yeah, that was a... That was a stupid, simple puzzle. Okay, well. Uh, sure. Let's go back towards the way we came. Fuck! Why? <laughs> oh. This game could have uh, seriously used a proper level designer. And uh, maybe somebody who's played a video game before to just give it a little bit of a try. Before they fucking released it, man. Like, how do you think this is a good control scheme? Right? Jesus, dude. Like, Mario has existed at this point. I don't know exactly what year this game came out. But it's on the PS2, so it couldn't have came out earlier than 2001. Which means Mario has existed for, like, 20 years, man. People knew how to do platforming. And shit, okay, so this is 3D. Mario's 2D. But... Mario 64 came out in, what, 1995 or some shit? No, that's... Yeah. Yeah, hold on. I'm actually going to look that up real quick. Mario 64 release date. 1996. Sorry, I was one year out. So, like, at the very least, there had been a good 3D platforming game out for at least five years by the time this came out. All right, we got the Jezebel root. All we need now is the white herb, I guess. And Lord, I hope whatever ability we unlock is the uh, the ability to blow shit up. 
I want to go up there. There's got to be... Okay, there's got to be another, like, switch or something. And I don't mean... Never mind. <laughs> never mind. Oh, that's a that's a pit with holes in it. And I... With holes? With, with, with... Sharp shit. You are too weak to move the obstacle. Okay. So remember what I said about maybe being able to move that shit from the beginning of the game? Yeah, probably not. The game arbitrarily decides whenever we, uh are strong enough to move stuff and aren't, I suppose. Oh, 669, I just noticed. Nice. How many offerings we got. Almost makes you want not want to kill anything. 693, very nice. Now we just gotta get uh, the 420, 69, and we'll be good to go. <laughs> what is possessing these monkeys to be so fucking rude? This game was released in 2006? Holy shit. So that means it was released 2006. That's five years after the PS2 came out. That's like towards the end of a console's life cycle. And this is what they came up with? Bruh. <laughs> Mario was released in 1985, so it had a solid 21 years of Mario telling people there's a jump button. For real, though. That's fucking sad, man. And again, that's if you, that, I understand, like, if you don't want to be like, hey, that was a 2D game, this is a 3D game, whatever, but it doesn't change the fact that a good 3D platformer came out in the form of Mario 64 five, or not five years, ten years before this game. Thanks to the inscriptions on the treasure door, you easily open the secret passage. Oh. Oh, wait, does that mean we can read inscriptions now? Since we found the treasure door? Uh, I mean, that doesn't really make sense, but okay. Can I do anything from here, or... Is there, like, another chest or something? Some reason why we want to come this way? Or is it just another way up? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. There's a chest we can push. There's a couple doors. Maybe we can unlock it to get back through here easier later. Gate prevents you from continuing... Thanks for being helpful, game. No shit. Can I not, like... There's no lever or anything? I'm probably missing something. I'm sure there's got to be a lever or something to open that up somewhere. Can I push this? No, not that way, at least. The other way? Nope, no push. No push. You know what I think I'm going to watch tonight when I go to bed? Fucking Emperor's New Groove. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if anybody else out there likes Emperor's New Groove, but I'm a fan, man. And Kronk's New Groove. Kronk's New Groove was good, too. I don't think Noodle really likes uh, Emperor's New Groove, did you? If you were actually, like, listening at this point. Love. Solid idea? Hell yeah, it is. I felt... I forgot I had my headphones plugged in because they were dying. I, like, moved my head a little bit and something rubbed up against me. I thought I was using the wrong microphone again for a minute. Thankfully, I haven't done that yet on stream. I accidentally used the wrong microphone. I've used the wrong one on purpose that one time because I was, like, running around doing shit. So I wanted to use my wireless mic, but... Uh, can we maybe take this torch of fire and burn down this fucking shit? There's literally fire right there, and these look dry as fuck. Just let me burn them. Please, game. Cut me, cut me some slack here, man. Give me, a, give me a little... Oh, wait, there's a lever. Uh, Okay, well, I don't think we can do anything with the lever right now, though, because we can't get through the thorny plants. You do like Emperor's New Groove, love? You don't think you've ever seen Krunks? For some reason, I was thinking you didn't like it. I must be thinking of something else. I don't know. They are masterpieces. This is very true. And they're both good. Disney so often makes terrible sequels, man. But in that case, I feel like they actually did a pretty decent job, you know? Like, yeah, Emperor's New Groove is probably the better movie of the two. But, uh, Krunks was actually pretty solid. No, no complaints here. What was that? Did something explode? Huh. Weird. Wait, what was that? 
Oh, okay. If we're holding circle to to block, we can also dodge roll that way. Dude, so wait a second. Wait a second. Let me get this straight. When you're blocking, you can dodge roll by just holding block and pressing a direction. I've seen games do dodge rolling that way before. That's a perfectly fine way to do dodge rolling because when you're in a fight and you want to block or maybe hurry up and move out of the way of something, guess what? You're probably going to be holding circle anyways. So then you just hold circle or whatever the, the block button is and then press a direction that you want to dodge. That makes fucking sense. So why the hell does the X button also dodge roll? That's so fucking dumb, man. That's... <laughs> also... Also, why not let me just fucking climb up that, 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 that crate there, man? Like, I get it, it has spikes on it or whatever, and that's why we can't climb up it. But, like, bro, why make me fucking... Uh, you don't look nice. Anyways, why make me jump on that other platform that's the same height right next to it, just so I can jump on that box? Just let me jump straight onto the box. Uh, so wait, is that a timed thing? Or like, cause that's not open yet. And if that's not up, can I even get anywhere from here? Oh, oh, okay. Good job. Good job falling. Appreciate it. God, there was a girl doing Smasher Pass Disney characters. And she wanted Crunk so bad, it took like 20-something TikToks and he watched every single one. That's... <laughs> That's one way to spend your time, love. <laughs> I legit only remember the honey teddy bear he makes at the restaurant when it just <laughs> when it's destroyed and crying and it makes me sad. Ah. So we can jump all the way over to that. Cool. I remember that it was hilarious. Stream has been live for one hours and twenty three minutes and two seconds. So basically all day. Speaking of, we still need to do our uh, our 12-hour stream here soon. Uh, f how did we jump down there? I was trying to jump to this. I don't care about jumping back down. Like, uh, can I just jump like straight over to it? Maybe. Like, nope. That's not gonna fucking happen, and we're dead. <laughs> fucking dead. Oh my lord, guys. This uh. This is a game that exists. That's basically all I have to say about it at this point. A creator of the filter put Kronk on it for her. Wait, like Kronk wasn't on the list of Disney Smasher Pass? What the hell is wrong with them? How are you gonna make a Disney Smasher Pass and not put fucking Kronk on it? Like, this game sucks. Yeah, it's not great, man. Like if I was a kid and this was the only game I had to play, I would play it. But as an adult with options in how I spend my time and, and what games I play, I uh, I don't think I'm going to be playing this one anymore. That was her issue. <laughs> she uh, she didn't understand how Kronk couldn't be on there. I totally feel for her, man. Like, that's legit kind of dumb. Uh, fucking go. Please, no, game. <laughs> oh, did we not run over the fucking pressure plate on our way back over here? We must have missed it. That was a fucked up jump. I'm not angry about it because it got us where we needed to go. But that was a really fucked up jump. Could have been way better than what it is. I know, like, the premise for it's fine, you know? You got cursed treasure and pirates and all kinds of neat powers and cursed things and whatnot. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> ah, fuck, dude. I knew... Uh, I should have known that one was gonna happen. As soon as we saw that fucked up platform. At the heart of these haunted caves, Francis spies the seal. I didn't even know these caves were haunted. Uh. Hey guys, careful. The caves are haunted, I guess. Can we please just like take one of the torches off the wall and burn all of this shit that keeps getting in our way? I just can't believe that the creator forgot to put Kronk on there. Forgot or just didn't want to or whatever. Like, oh. Oh. Okay, we might actually have an interesting puzzle, guys. So, 
we need this to get over to here, right? But if it's not on the platform over there, then we can't get to it because of the spike thingies? Uh, okay, wait. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, go up here. Go up. Nope, nope, go back around. I'm sorry, a seal? Yeah, like a navy seal. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, like a, you know, a seal. <laughs> I don't know, man, like a, like a... That kind of seal. The, the floating around thing over there seal. Also, is it not on the button? Okay, so the spikes are up. Push it over. The spikes are still up. What the hell? Is it only the one box that can put down the, the spikes? Uh, okay, reset. Just to confirm. Oh no, the spikes are still up. Then why whenever we push this, the game glitch? I'm confused, man. I think the game's fucking broke. You missed Cronkate? That was like the highlight of your year, Cronkate. Oh, wait a second. There's a second button here. That's why it wasn't working. Okay. Okay, fair, fair. Got it. So push that one down there. Uh, fuck up this ghost. No, nah, I don't think we can actually hurt it. She did a water one the other day? What does... What does that even mean? So RF RF seal? Yeah, yeah, exactly. An RF RF seal. <laughs> that's that's what we're that's what we're looking for here. That's the answer to all of our problems. An RF RF seal. The door mechanism. We need three seals. We have found the seal. The seal has been retrieved. Uh, I feel like we still need two more seals to actually do anything, though. As far as the the treasure door goes. Oh, hi. Uh, back into enemy territory, I suppose. You still haven't explained what the hell a water one is, love. And, uh, I need to know, Noodle. What is a water one? A water smasher pass? Because, like, I don't know. You should smash some water for sure, man. Actually, water's non-compressible. You can't smash it. Uh, but you could try. Tiny Tina says finished! Fucking go, man. No, honestly, I hope you do like it. I hope it's a good game. I'll try it eventually. Even though, isn't it... Isn't the that company still ran by, like, Randy, whatever? The guy that's had a bunch of not-so-nice things said about him on the internet? How he treats people and runs its businesses and things? Different types of water flash above your head and you say which ones you would smash and which ones you would pass on. Oh, okay. So just would you drink this or not, basically. You do not know. Randy Pitchford, Pitchfork, I don't know. Too weak to move the obstacle, so that's not gonna work. And these ones here are made of stone too, so we can't do shit with that. So I guess we're not doing anything else in this room right now. I see an exit over there, though. So I guess that's the way we're going. Cool. Spring is her favorite. That's probably my favorite kind of water, too, TBH. Spring water for the win, man. So is this the area we were in before? Is this a new area? This is a new area, right? Uh... That boulder looks very precariously placed. I'm going to take a guess and say we're probably going to be uh, chased by that boulder at some point. Oh, okay, no. We need to explode that boulder so it comes down here and smashes this wall. Or the, the things underneath of it. That's my actual guess. But, uh... It doesn't look like we can do anything with it now, though, so... Um... Get, uh, there it goes. It didn't want to fucking... Oh, nope. Okay. 
jump up, please, not down. Jump up in that very fucked up way that you jump off a wall. You second that guess? Yes, I, I think it's a pretty good assumption. You know what game doesn't suck that we could have been playing instead? Super Mario World. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm obsessed with Mario, guys. 100%. If I was able to do this full time, there would be one day a week just uh, for Mario. Well, Nintendo stuff in general, but a lot of Nintendo stuff would end up just being Mario. <laughs> Dude, you already did. I know I already did. And we can do it again. Uh, don't fall in the fucking hole. We already know what's in the hole. Death. Death is in the hole. Uh, jump down. Oh, the platforms are stuck up for us now. That's nice. Make it a little bit easier to get back there, I suppose. I do appreciate whenever the, the game is kind, you know? Little quality of life things are nice. Is this the way we're going? Sure, why not? This new area, old area, where where are we? What are we doing? Uh, hi there, friend. Oh, that's right. We found out we can read inscriptions now. So we'll go back into that area we just left real quick to make sure we're not, like, missing anything on the other side. But there was that door in that, uh, in that initial place that we should probably go check out. In the last, what do we got, like 15 minutes left? Yeah. It's too bad. I feel like if the game... I don't know. I th The controls and the level design, I think, are the only thing that really needs worked on. Oh, this is the area with the the bushes, right? Because, like, a little bit of backtracking is not a terrible thing. Um, you know, games like Metroidvania games, for instance, have, have a fair amount of backtracking. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. And in some sense, I guess I would say this is kind of a Metroidvania game of its own, right? You unlock new abilities, which allow you to go places that you weren't able to go before, yada yada. So I guess it's kind of in that genre, which is fine, you know? I'm fucking dead. Uh, but like, <laughs> I'm currently working on, and very slowly, on a Metroidvania-like game. So like, I have absolutely nothing, no problem with that style, it's just... The level design's kind of, kind of trash. <laughs> then you mix in the bad control scheme with it, and it's just, it's painful. And the story and the combat system and the quest markers. <laughs> I mean, quest markers would be nice, but like, I, I don't think quest markers are necessarily needed in most games, or any game really, if the level design is, is done well, you know? If, if level design is done well, there should just be a nice natural flow to things. Even whenever you want to have something be kind of open and free-flowing. If the level design is done well, you still have a nice natural flow that, that the player wants to follow. And in doing so, they, they hit all of the important locations without quest markers. Which I think is nice, because I, I think GPSs and, and mini-maps and... Uh, quest markers and things like that. Honestly, I think they're a bit overused in video games. Just to be just to be completely honest with you. So I appreciate a game that's a little more, you know, figure it out for yourself. But uh the rest of the game needs to be done well for that to work. And sadly this game was not done particularly well. Uh I'm trying to remember how to get out of here. Is this it? This might be it. And the story so far I'm happy with, to be honest. I don't need, like, a an amazing save-the-world story as long as the gameplay's fine. As we've talked about so many times now, I fucking love Mario games. And the story of Mario games is basically the princess has been kidnapped for the 10,000th time. Go save her, dumbass. Uh, like, and that's it. <laughs> so, like, if I'm willing to play a game as many times as I've played Mario and that's all the story I'm gonna get... Then, like, obviously, I'm okay. I'm okay with a game that's not too, too lore heavy, too story heavy. It just needs to be fun, engaging, right? All of that, and we didn't even do half of his health and damage. I need something more than this, like more lore. 
Don't get me wrong, I think more lore would be fantastic. I love story-based games. I'm mainly a uh, single-player gamer. I love JRPGs and shit like that. Um, but I think there's two different categories of games, right? There's games that are just fun to play, and then there's games that are you play for the story. And then most of my favorite games are games that do both of that well, you know? But, uh... One or the other, as long as it's really good, is passable. Sadly, this one here just has a, a passable story for me, personally. And, uh... I don't know if it's passable gameplay. <laughs> it's, it's... It's not vomit-inducing gameplay, I'll give it that much. Oh, my lord. These not skelly bros skelly bros are pissing me off. Why are you spawning more in, game? Stop it. Stop it! Alright, go, go beast. Also, am I the only one that thought whenever we turned into uh, Jackal, Hyde, whichever one, Switch, uh, <laughs> we would be constantly using that weird energy stuff? Instead of just using it whenever we're actually attacking things. Like, it feels weird to me that we're only actually using the, the Loa energy, Lua energy, whatever the fuck it's called, whenever we're actually hitting stuff. But yeah, you too, you too. Right? Like, it's just another, it's another thing on the list that, like, it's not what you would expect that make the game feel weird. That's kind of neat, though. I like how the, the two different enemy types fight each other. That's kind of nice. Like, the gorillas obviously just don't like people in general. <laughs> so they're just, they see person, they fuck up, or fuck up person. To be clear, they fuck them up. They don't fuck them. <laughs> they, they ruin their day one way or another. No, uh, yeah, like, that's, that's kind of nice. I'm also one of those people, though, that can totally just watch, like, uh, like, ant farm simulator type games, you know, where, like, you just, you make a, a world or whatever, and then you just watch how the, the CPU, not CPUs, NPCs react to it and, and how they just exist. Why are these guys just, like, infinitely spawning? That attack looks like it should be fucking cool, but it's not. Alright, I'm, I'm done. I'm done doing that. Let's, uh, jump up here. I think this is the way out of here, right? Should probably go ahead and save, too, in case we end up having to quit. Yeah, I, I guess. Pay. Is it getting more expensive every time we save? If so, that's honestly fine. If that's all the offerings are going to be used for, it gives you a reason to not, like, oversave or whatever. That's how AIDS started. People don't fuck with monkeys. Is that real? Like, I've obviously heard that, right? I'm pretty sure everyone's heard that before. But is that legitimately how AIDS started? Or is that just one of those things where, you know, people just make shit up and then it gets spread around all over the place? So this is a new area. Oh, hi. Mr. Noodle with another five bits. Thank you, love. So many bits today. I appreciate it a lot, man. Really, it helps out. Every tiny bit helps out. I just killed Kratos. Okay, I stopped. What? What? Why would you? Why do you do that? I said thank you, and now you're just like, fuck off. Did that dude just like instantly die when he spawned in? A dark aura surrounds the statue. Cool. Uh, that helps us at so much. So much, man. I'm so glad you told us that a dark aura surrounds this giant fucking skull statue. No idea you think it's fake, though? Same. I'm, uh, that's just my guess, at least. Like, I have no idea. I'm not some historian. No, my lord. Can we just fight the dude, please? Another pet peeve of mine is instant death pits, and this game has those, which annoy me. And then when you're trying to fight an enemy and they just keep falling off the ledge, that annoys me too. I don't care about the new attacks. I'm sorry. You know something else I just realized about this game in particular, though? Right? Our whole mission is just to 
collect the treasure and leave, right? So we're probably farther in the game than we realize right now. I could be wrong on that, but we got one seal that we need to open the door, we think. I guess we haven't actually collected any of the stuff to get the boat up and going, though. I wonder which one will happen first. We're never going to find out, but <laughs> if we kept playing, I wonder if we would find the uh, the treasure first or get the boat working first. You know what would make this game a lot more fun? Imagine Mortal Kombat, uh, which one was it that we played? Shaolin Monks? Imagine if the fighting felt like that. Right? Like... Uh, like if it had that combat sys combat system and then a, uh, a little bit of work done in the level design and it would be actually like a really good time. Holy shit, we're gonna die. I need health, please. <laughs> I need health. Let me out. Let me out. <laughs> Why are there more enemies? I can't see. I can't. Why am I not collecting any more health? I thought when I hit these dudes, they gave me health. All right, there we go. Got a little bit at least. Yes, you agree, Rue? Of course, you're a huge fan of that game too, though, so of course you would agree. <laughs> uh, dead end, I guess. That's that's helpful. I didn't know we were playing a maze game. This is a loading zone. That is an enemy. Duh. <laughs> oh, man. That's another dead end. We can go up here. Is that the loading zone that we came through? I think it is. Okay, so I guess we'll just go through this loading zone and see where the hell that takes us. I'm so lost, man. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know where we are. I don't know what we're doing anymore. We're just running around and swinging our swords at things. And that's not even innuendo. Uh, more of those things that we can't do shit with. Oh, wait. We've been here before. Just not up here. Uh, am I dead? Seriously? <laughs> Is there no way down? Okay, circle. Circle let us down. If I press circle again, do we go down gently? Nope, we instantly die. That doesn't seem like that big of a drop, man. Oh, this is the, the area with the skull again. Okay, so what was the point of going up here? I guess to break that and go around, but, like, we can't actually do that yet. So, in that case... Uh, game. What are you doing, game? <laughs> that's, that's not how that works, game. <laughs> that's so fucking jank, dude. Alright, back the way we came. At this point, I think we just need to find a save, a save spot and uh, call it, because yeah, I, th I think we're, I think we're all done with this game, man. <laughs> I know, I know, I am at least. Uh, I've already forgotten. Hold on, up. We want to go up. So this way, I think. Fingers crossed, maybe. Like I said, it sucks. Uh, no. Okay, this isn't the way we came from. This is another new area. I'm assuming we can't jump onto that? Nope, that's death. Okay. <laughs> There's a monkey on the other side of that. So this must be something we can do later. As in, not now. Death again. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Uh. So, wait, how the fuck do we get out of here then? That's dead end, right? Yep, yep, okay. Nothing there. That's the other loading zone. Ah, uh, oh, well, there's a save spot, so I guess. Hey, that works too. Not exactly what I was uh, expecting, but fuck it. I'll take it. We're just gonna we're just gonna save there You know what? I don't think it's going up every time per se. Maybe it is But maybe it's just related to what save 
like statue we're using. I don't know. I've come to talk with you again. Yes, you know it. <laughs> Anyways, though, it's close enough to time to hop off. And uh, honestly, this game's not really uh, doing it for me anyways. So we're going to call it there, guys. That's, uh, I think that's all we're, that's all we're going to play tonight. Tomorrow, though, tomorrow is Saturday. So on Saturdays, of course, is the day that we actually play a game and try that we're trying to complete. And uh, we've decided that's going to be Odin Sphere, a game that we played a couple weeks ago on the uh, PS2 Gauntlet here. And uh, yeah, we're going to try to play through it. One that was suggested by Rue forever ago and uh, just finally got around to playing. Had a pretty decent time with it and I'm interested to see how the game progresses. So we're going to start that up tomorrow around what five o'clock something like that thank you again noodle no no noodle <laughs> for the five bits i appreciate it i love seeing all your little emojis emojis fly down the screen there fuck i'm tired if you can't tell but yeah so we'll be playing that from like five to nine tomorrow and then on sunday maybe podcast maybe not i'm not really sure if there's no podcast though we're probably gonna play something just just us you know without without uh the doorsman i don't know what yet i don't know if it'll be ps2 if it'll be something miscellaneous i don't know but uh it feels weird like having sunday and monday off back to back not streaming anything so i think i'll probably stream something even if he's not able to do the podcast with me um whenever he is able to do the podcast though there's two different games and a movie that we planned on talking about so like hopefully We'll have something to, uh, or we'll be able to, I mean. You won't even be here Sunday. You got a concert, so no Odin Sphere on Sunday. No problem, Rue. Enjoy your concert. And, uh, yeah, no, we'll only be doing Odin Sphere on the Saturdays. So don't worry about that. You won't have to miss anything. So I don't even know what we'll do. I'm, I'm thinking if we do do Sunday night, maybe we'll do something not PS2 related just to switch it up a little bit. Uh, maybe a PC game. Maybe uh, y'all can watch me die repeatedly in, in, in Elden Ring. Uh, maybe I'll just play Mario again. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Maybe we'll uh, start up a 100% run on Mario 3 or World or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. We'll do something, though. But anyways, uh, thank you guys for being here. I appreciate you all. Uh, Rue, Noodle, Nate, of course. Uh, Chocobo Enthusiast. If you're still around, thank you, man. And... Uh, Big Daddy Pee Wee, <laughs> as well as, of course, anybody else that's just chilling in chat or without chatting. I mean, thank you for being here as well. I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night, y'all. Bye-bye.